guys thank you so much for joining me today i asked you on the community tab what you wanted to see from me next and the clear winner was a reading vlog so here i am it has been a hot minute since i have done a reading vlog and i'm really excited because i have so many new books that i've been wanting to read and i'm excited to read so this will kind of give me that extra push because to be totally honest since this new year has begun i've only read three books four if you count this one that i'm like halfway through which is still amazing you know but i usually read so much quicker i read a little bit more kind of on this journey right now to create all these healthy habits that i can bring with me into this new year and my reading habits have been lost in the shuffle so i'm excited to get back into it today this book is new i think i pre-ordered it and it just arrived last week i have i don't have my phone with me so i don't exactly know when this released i saw some of my favorite authors posting about it on their instagrams and i just I had to order it. This is X's and O's by Amy Leah. I am about halfway through. It is, it's almost 400 pages, I believe. 361. So, so far, this book is really cute. I really like the writing style. It's definitely very funny, very sarcastic and witty. I think this is going to be like the perfect read for Valentine's Day because it's all leading up to Valentine's Day. So I think there's going to be a cute little love set at the end but basically the main character has had her heart broken many a times and she decides to revisit all of her ex-boyfriends and kind of see where went wrong what went wrong but while she's on this journey to rekindle old flames she's actually just moved in with a new roommate who just so happens to be mixed me basically he's like the sexy firefighter he sounds amazing and i can only assume where this goes on the back it says tara enlists him to help her reconnect with her exes he reluctantly agrees but tara's journey is leading him to discover his own new chapter sexy roommate man is very anti-relationships very much a one night stand sort of guy but there is an undeniable connection between these two and i'm kind of obsessed with this so far anyways i'm on page 159 right now i'll keep you guys updated on this one but seriously perfect for valentine's day coming up and you guys know how i feel about a cute cover Okay, current update, I am on page 280. Definitely going to finish this one tonight. I have less than 100 pages left, and this one is definitely a slow burn romance, and it is killing me. Honestly, I did not plan on finishing this one today. I was hoping that I would, but wasn't sure, and now I am completely sucked in. Everything has been leading up to this moment where I'm at right now. It's so good. Okay, the sun is going down, so sorry about the weird lighting, but I just finished this book, and this is seriously the cutest rom-com ever. This book was made for the girlies that just, you know, collect all of the book boyfriends. I think we all have a book boyfriend in mind. Mine personally will forever and always be Gus from Beach Read, but Trevor in this book, he's a close second. I also just rated this book on Goodreads and I saw that this is a second book in a series to Set On You. It's not like a series where you have to read Set On You first and this is like the sequel to it. It's just like an extension. So in this book, there is a sister Crystal and I think that Set On You is about 
her. So I'm definitely going to order set on you and check it out. Apparently this is like the influencer series, which is a little bit funny. Tara is like a book fluencer on Instagram. Anyways, I love this book. I totally devoured like the second half. That's when everything starts to get real juicy. I love these two. I love the writing. And I feel like if you liked books similar to like the Unhoneymooners or uh, Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter, that sort of writing style, those like quirky characters, then this one is right up your alley. Definitely a new favorite of mine. Okay, I'm actually about to do some Sunday cleaning that I've put off all day. So I won't start my next book until tonight. I just wanted to give a ginormous shout out to Daniela who has sent me all of these books from my wish list. This is so incredibly generous and amazing. I reached out to her because I was like, girl, you cannot be doing all of this and I not send you something in return. So very happy to be connected with her now because this was just unbelievably sweet and insane. So thank you so much to Daniela. I am actually starting one of the ones that she sent, which is this one. If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. I've heard so many good things about this book all over Instagram, so I'm very excited to start this one. I will probably start it before bedtime, a little bedtime read. I wanted to pop on and give an update because a lot of you guys are like, how do you read so fast? And it's not that I read so fast, it's just that I put off everything that I need to do and read instead. <laughs> now I actually have to get my shit together. <laughs> morning you guys yesterday i started if he had been with me by laura nolan and i didn't end up reading much yesterday i'm only on page 40 right now but so far i'm feeling like this is a true ya it's very reminiscent of like my freshman sophomore year in high school it's about this girl who is definitely an outcast and growing up she had a best friend it was her mom's best friend's son so they essentially grew up together were always together and you know once you get into high school those sort of relationships kind of part ways as of right now she's going through all of those emotions of you know losing her best friend so far i like how this book is written though it's kind of like little diary entries that's how it feels the main character right now she is dating a new guy and her ex best friend finn is also dating a new girl and it's not that they were ever like in a relationship but there's definitely those feelings there after being friends for ever so this book is kind of her imagining how things would be different if he was with her this one is kind of like a little beefcake because it's almost 400 pages so lots to get done i have a little grown-up lunchable to get me through you guys ever have these they're so good this one's like spicy salami and gouda my fave just beautiful I'm on page 225 right now, so a little bit over halfway. I honestly, I didn't think I was going to get this much done. It's like almost 4 p.m. right now, but 
I am liking this a lot more than I thought I was going to when I first started it. At the beginning, I definitely liked the sentiment, but it felt, it's like a true YA. So it felt a little, I don't know, cringy at parts, but that is truly the high school experience. This is definitely a book that I would have loved at like 15 even 19 but at 26 i can appreciate this book because it really does remind me so much of things that i went through in high school and i feel like a lot of people have their own finney and their own jamie and it's just like reminding me of all those old times it's kind of making me like a little teary-eyed i feel like i'm getting pretty close to the climax and something crazy juicy happening but i i really like autumn and i like her perspective there's just so many emotions as a teenager going through all of your first i don't know i really like this book so far though <laughs> this book <laughs> I ended up just reading straight through it's like 5 14 right now and the ending i don't even know what to do with myself now this is the most dramatic mascara are you kidding um well my heart is shattered into a million pieces right now but i like this book a lot <laughs> like i mentioned before there's like a lot of parallels between my high school experience and autumn's in this book it reads like a diary or a journal everything just feels very raw and real and in high school like everything just feels so big but yeah the twist at the ending goodbye i don't I don't know how I'm supposed to recover from this. <laughs> Needless to say, I will not be starting the Spanish love deception tonight. I need a little break. Maybe in the morning I can start to mend my broken heart, but oh my goodness. I just, I just need to be for a while. Okay, finally starting oops, the Spanish love deception this morning. I'm only on page 34, but right off the bat, it's giving me like the hating game sort of vibe. Coworkers that hate each other, but there's like this undeniable sexual energy. I do have high hopes for this one, especially because the reviews are so good. So I'm excited to dive into this one today. You guys, we... We gotta talk. I wanted to love this book so badly. And I mentioned that the beginning was giving me a little bit of the hating game sort of vibe. And I did not wanna judge it right off the bat because I really didn't enjoy the hating game. I hated that it was just like so overtly sexual, like kind of right off the bat. The main character was really irritating to me. And unfortunately, this was like very similar in my opinion. I just could not vibe with the main character, Lena, in this book. She just, she's so annoying and she has to have like an internal monologue after anyone says like a single sentence that goes on for pages. And it's just like, okay, girl, speed it up. Like this book did not have to be 400 something pages of course because it's romance it's predictable and i don't really have a problem with like predictability but with this one it was just kind of frustrating this one was described as like an enemies to lovers sort of trope but this man was in love with her from the beginning and she just 
I don't know what her problem was. She was a little bit too much for me and I just couldn't get on board. I'm really sorry. Honestly, it got to the point where I'm like actively eye rolling as I'm reading and like skimming over pages of her internal monologue and just like, ugh. this was a frustrating book to say the very least. But moving on, I had a different book in mind for today. I always want to call it Someone Like You, but I think it's called Just Like You. Anyways, when I was going through my library, I saw these two and we have Valentine's Day coming up. So I was like, this one might be good, but this one has been on my bookshelf for so long. So I did a poll on Instagram this morning. Let's check in and see where we're at. Okay, it is so ridiculously close. You guys are no help at all. This one is in the lead, but by like 2%. I think I'm just gonna start Funny You Should Ask. I've had this one on my shelf for so long and I've been wanting to read it, so we'll give it a go. And honestly, this cover is speaking to me a little bit more. Okay, back with the small update. I am already enjoying this one so much more. I am on chapter 7 right now, so page 79, and it is so cute so far. I really like the layout of this book, how it shows the, well, first of all, it's in like two different timelines, now and then, but sprinkled throughout are like little articles because it is about a writer, a journalist, and then this celebrity actor. And so it'll have like little articles sprinkled throughout of the actor, the articles that she's written about him, her own blog entries. Like I really like that aspect. So I am enjoying this so far, but I am kind of hitting, hitting a wall this afternoon. So I am going to go get some coffee but i just like did this weird thing with my mouth and i think i have a cramp in my tongue is that a thing tongue cramp okay well it says i'm having a stroke so should i drive <laughs> okay great well now i have that to worry about so let's go to starbucks you guys got treats today. There was no line at Starbucks today, so they offered the little puppy whips, and of course we could never say no. Look at the excitement here. I got a ginormous drink today. I got a venti because I had a free drink on my Starbucks app. One time I had ordered a grande with my free drink and the barista was like, never do that again. <laughs> I was like, all right. She was like, take advantage of that free drink. So, although I will definitely not finish this, well, I don't know, maybe I'll get crazy. Um, I got it. This is just the vanilla cream cold brew. Trying to play it safe. Let's see how it tastes today. Well, it's not good, but that's fine. Also, my tongue <laughs> issue. My wisdom teeth, literally top and bottom, both sides are coming in. Like breaking through, like I can see the little, the little teethers. I think any normal person would probably just go to the dentist and get it resolved, but I simply cannot do that. So I have swollen face. So I think that's what's going on with my tongue. It doesn't actually hurt that bad right now, but it was like the back of my tongue, like my throat, like it kind of hurt to swallow. Um, so I think I just have a million issues because of my wisdom teeth. But ever since I was little, I've kind of had like this insane fear of growing my wisdom teeth and then having them removed. And so I'm just kind of terrified to take care of that at some point, but I know I need to. I kind of want like my teeth to grow in and then they can just like not put me under. Cause I think the real fear is being put under, like that freaks me out. They can just numb me up and like take it out. Then, then I feel like that would be better. Anyways, did you enjoy your pop cups? Aww, my little passenger princess. Okay, I have to do a check-in because I'm determined to finish this book tonight. I'm over halfway through right now. It's almost 9 p.m. And by the way, absolutely did not finish this coffee. I just, I can't do a venti, I can't, it's too much. Anyways, chapter 18 is where I'm at, 195. I'm obsessed with this book. 
This is so much more fun than I realized. Like, this is such a fun story. Basically, the journalist had interviewed the actor. It was more than an interview. It was like a span of a weekend. And there, there is just so much that went into this weekend. So much that went down. And then 10 years later, they're asked to kind of recreate this interview because it went viral. It was this huge piece. So 10 years later, they are reunited and it is, woof, the tension. It is a lot. But I am in love with this story. I love how it's told. It's kind of told in pieces. Like, I still don't know what all went down that weekend it flips back and forth from like present day to past and it'll show like a piece of the article and then the chapter will be like her retelling of what really happened it's just like sprinkled in chunks so you don't get the full story right away and it's still panning out but wow i love this book so i am set on finishing this tonight and then i will give you guys my full update and thoughts in the morning i love this book this was so much fun to read i love these characters i love how the story unraveled i i had so much fun reading this book i thought for sure that this was going to be a five star read for me and it it was so so close the only complaint i have about this book is the ending i almost wanted a little bit more i can see why it was cut off where it was and like you can kind of put the puzzle pieces together yourself i just kind of love these two that i i wanted more this was such a fun story and it has like a little bit of an insta love situation which is not usually a favorite of mine but just like it worked so well in this so good job picking this one you guys really nailed it i adored this so much so to wrap this reading vlog up i would say i highly recommend x's and o's love that book definitely a four star read same with this i also loved if he had been with me but i know that the writing style will not be everyone's taste so if you're big into like ya novels i definitely recommend that one i thought it was i thought it was really great the only one that i did not love this week was the Spanish love deception. And I'm so sorry to say it because I know there is a big fan base for that book. But just like there is with the hating game, it just it just kind of fell into that category for me. So overall, a very, very successful reading week. I have some new favorites. It felt good to do another one of these. So if you guys want more reading vlogs, please let me know. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you again soon. Bye.